Hi folks, Stephen Nicholas here. This is one of the videos for advanced practice of the five sequence relational drawing process. This is a very personal one. Uh, I'm going to suggest, as I consider the hundreds and hundreds of drawings, five sequence drawings I've done over the years, perhaps over a thousand, that this is one of the top three to five of significance in my life. And I felt like that was an important, this is an important drawing to share, to open a space for, for those of you that are more engaged in, in the work with this process, to understand another way you can come up with really substantial themes. So, some of you may know uh, my wife died almost a year ago when I'm doing this video. This particular five sequence drawing was inspired by an art exhibit at the Nevada Museum of Art of Australian original, uh, Aboriginal memorial poles and how in, in, in their clan history they used these, they created these poles, sometimes they were very tall, and, and as a final part of their mortuary process, they would put the deceased bones inside these hollow eucalyptus trees that had been eaten out by uh, termites, I guess. Then they'd strip off the the bark, and they'd put on clan sig uh, s symbols, and and those symbols were meant to help the individual transition to the final ancestral realm. I found that really a absolutely fascinating, and I engaged with that exhibit pr pretty substantially. Went to a uh, a talk one afternoon with two of the artists from Australia, two of their Caucasian um, mentors and sponsors who were there as, as well as uh, some of the Native American community here in uh, northern Nevada. Well, it was a kind of a cross-cultural exchange also. And that was just really fascinating for me. I had upcoming plan to take a good portion of my wife's Linda's ashes and have her urn interred in a, uh, a courtyard at a church in Denver where my mother and father's ashes are and an aunt and uncle's ashes are that they have had this extensive kind of formal relationship with. And I got the, this idea that I thought I wanted to paint her urn with clan symbols and patterns. So I did. It was a brown urn, had about half of her ashes in them. The other half of friends have been spreading all over the world. Really beautiful part of you know, my process and, and good friends process and working with her absence. And I painted it white and then I came up with, what am I going to do with these six different sides? So one of the sides, one of the full sides, has a version of this particular five sequence drawing. So where I went with this was thinking about her whole 70 and a half years of life. Now, I only knew Linda for 12 years. So of all of her friends across so many decades, I actually was the one who knew her the least at least in, in terms of chronology and calendars. So, so panel one here was an expression of all of the many different relationships that she had th throughout her life. And symbolically represented here is myself, her mother, good friends, and, and such, and blue skies and, and sun. She loved the warmth and loved the summer. And then panel two, uh, is an expression of how I, I feel about this really beautiful expression of, of Linda's life. And so it's a, it's a positive, though poignant, five-sequence drawing. So this number two 
drawing, you can, you can sense that as you look at the different kinds of colors and these, these things here which could be flowers or firework kinds of things and we've got this yellow kind of a, a flower type thing and a red one here and, and then some other more kind of neon colors that uh, are here and then you know a couple of my favorites are these blues and these greens. Yellow is one of my favorite energies, favorite colors, so it typically shows up a lot in all my drawings. And then holding the question, how would I really like to feel about uh, lovely Linda's life? And that's panel three. And, and hopefully the panel three conveys a, a different set of movement, a different set of colors. These little dots here are what I tend to think of as magic dust, if you will. Uh, it's a really kind of a potent experience of the ineffable that I don't know how else to put out sometimes. And so here I've got blue and silver colors uh, that are representing, you know, this magical ephemeral part of this panel three experience, how I really want to feel about this. Panel four, kind of a symbolic cauldron, if you will, with this one yellow side there again, one, one of my favorite colors and energies, and then pink. And you'll see pink here, you'll see pink here, you'll see pink here. Pink was uh, the color that I would use to represent Linda, uh, her little stick figure, her energy here, her energy here, her energy here. So there's a, a nice yellow, a nice pink symbolizing, symbolizing her. And then this kind of red, excuse me, blue starburst in the center. And then panel five is the new story. Having done these in a felt sense regarding panel one, the story I'm working with and want to create positive difference with, this was, it was really fascinating and felt much richer for me as I went through and took the time to, to create a couple different landscapes. I have the sun in the center, I have, I have some mountains, uh, she, she, she loved to hike and she enjoyed outdoors and, and then these are important people in her life, some of whom I, I, I've explicitly noted. That's me. This was her best dog, Ben. She had many dogs. Ben was her favorite dog. Uh, her mother's represented here. Other friends are represented here. And water flowing down. Excuse me while I move over to this side. And then over here, we, we, have, we have a body of water. And of course, she, she loved water. She loved kayaking. She loved sailing. She enjoyed s sitting in the sun. Um, she uh, owned a sailboat with her first husband back 30 years ago or so. And so that's represented here by uh, Linda in uh, her yellow kayak. I was, guess I was probably thinking Lake Tahoe at this point. And then I, I, I also felt, you know, we, we traveled a lot and uh, we enjoyed many wonderful places. I started to do um, the Eiffel Tower here. Uh, my skills as an artist are lacking, so I ended up turning it into a apple tree. Kind of representative of growth and fruit and all of that. And uh, another person right here, uh, another person here, another person here, and then these people here. So these are kind of symbolic uh, individuals, friends uh, across time. And it was a, a really powerful experience for me and I hope it opens a space for you to appreciate that you can really work with some really, really important and fascinating questions using this five sequence drawing process. So thanks for watching and enjoy your next drawing.